kind of to start with, uh, yeah, my name is Anna Gorman and I run the arts program in NYCI. My colleague, Saoirse Reynolds, is also here, who's the arts development officer. 100% of the team are here today. So the National Youth Arts Program is a strategic partnership of the Arts Council, the Department of Children and Youth Affairs, and the National Youth Council of Ireland. And the reason I'm telling you that, and that that is significant, is that none of those three agencies are saying we have responsibility for this ourselves. All three are saying actually we have a shared responsibility for this. The state agency for the arts, the Department of Children and Youth Affairs and the legislative body for, for youth work. Between the three of us we have responsibility for this. So it's really interesting that the programme is housed in NYCI and that it has that kind of shared, uh, I suppose, kind of transdisciplinary kind of cross-cutting and um, focus and it sits in a couple of different places rather like youth theatre. Hello, my name is Laura Ridden, and as Peter was saying, um, I was born in New York, so that's kind of why I have a bit of an American twang. So today I've been asked to speak about the problems that youth have in the north of Spain, and what better person than someone from New York and Limerick to talk about that. <laughs> when I came to Ireland, I came across a youth theatre, and it's true what I was saying, that it's a very different um, objective of what you're supposed to do there. Um, Whoever hasn't had a part in a, in a long time, it becomes the lead and you take turns doing everything and you volunteer to do everything because it is like a community that you work together. So when I went to Spain, that was what my job was to do, was to, was to work with theatre as a, as a volunteer. And a lot of the work that we do is using theatre as a tool to, to talk about topics that we don't normally get to work on or to teach education that normally would just be with exams and, and books to use a, a more a dynamic way of working through it. Hi, I'm Lena. Um, I'm from Austria. I've been a member of Beyond the Bühne for roughly 13 years now. I started doing theatre there when I was 10. That is what we do at Beyond the Bühne. We help people come to see who they are themselves. And we do that through theatre and through dance and through film and also through music. We don't have it bad in Austria. <coughs> Especially our region is not um, poor. You don't have to pay for education in Austria. So why do these crimes happen? Well, the reason we hear most is because of boredom. We do offer nearly 20 different classes. So we have a quite good program for young people that want to do something that want to find some outlet for their power. And not only that, we also offer workshops and classes on stuff you can do backstage. So you can learn how to set up lights for a play. You can learn how to operate a camera and film stuff. You can learn to do makeup for stage. It's a bunch of different things. And we always try and look out for things to expand this with. So if you take some really big sociological concepts, like two in particular I'm going to use here, structure, social structure and culture, and say, well, what has changed uh, in regard to, with regard to those over recent years that has a bearing on young people's lives. One of the big changes over the course of my adult life in Ireland, it varies from place to place across Europe, is the shift uh, within the economy from being dominated by uh, uh, agriculture, which was the case in Ireland quite relatively recently, moving on to that being replaced by industry, manufacturing, which happened later than in Ireland and almost everywhere else in Europe. And when it did happen, it happened really, really fast. But then moving on to what's often called the third sector, sector after agriculture and industry, services. That's where we are. And the move in the direction of a service economy, including work occupations that have to do with information, that has proceeded at a galloping pace most important thing is the first word we kind of learn, ensemble, and uh, it means that you have to work together. We are now expected to have a completely individual relationship with learning. You do your junior cert, you do your leaving cert, it doesn't matter to you, to your results, how anybody else in your classroom is feeling. 
But in theatre is the exact opposite. And it takes a good while for young people sometimes to come to understand that. So it's fueled by imagination and curiosity. Um, they're, they're the things that are central to it. It's not fueled by documentation and recording or finding the formula. It's finding the thing that doesn't exist already. To recognise that the body is a way of communicating without words, you can do that too. And in imagination, making sure that the audience have a space in what you do to think about their work. the tools for self-expression and it's providing the space for that self-expression to happen. 